Hey guys, what's up? Here's Max. Ever since Beerus appeared in Battle of Gods, a lot of people have been scared by the incredible power of the God of Destruction. Beerus is extremely strong, managed to defeat the Super Saiyan 3 Goku like it was nothing, and even easily surpassed the Super Saiyan God form. But so we discover that Beerus' assistant, Whis, is actually his master too, and he's even stronger than the Destroyer. With the arrival of Dragon Ball Super, we discovered that Whis belongs to a race called the Race of Angels, and that all of that race have an absurdly great power. But unfortunately, there's a rule in the world of Dragon Ball that does not allow any of these angels to use their real powers in a fight, which is why we've never seen an angel fight seriously. Despite that, in the Moro Saga, in the Dragon Ball Super manga, we got a taste of what an angel fighting for real, as Mirus used some of his angel's powers to fight Moro. But still, that still doesn't say much, because as we know, Mirus was an apprentice. He wasn't as powerful as the 12 angels we know. But still, based on some things that were already shown to us in Dragon Ball Super, we have a great idea of the real power of angels. And as I'm sure many of these clues were unnoticed for you, I'll remember and comment all this with you here in the video. Let's talk about why angels are the most powerful race we know so far in Dragon Ball. So stay connected in the channel and let's go to the video. Okay. The Angel, Whis, is a master of martial arts. He trained Beerus himself, as well as Goku and Vegeta. But speaking about Beerus and the God of Destruction, we know that in a universe normally, the Destroyers are the most powerful beings of all. There are some exceptions to this rule, such as Jiren himself, who is a more powerful mortal than his Destroyer. But as a rule, Gods of Destruction are the top in power in their universes. However, the Angels are far beyond any God that has ever appeared in the series. And that's not just in terms of skill in fighting, but in every aspect. But okay, I already said that angels are absurdly powerful. Now I have to prove it, right? So let's talk about each attribute of this race individually using Whis as an example. Let's start this analysis of Whis's powers by talking about his destructive power and his physical strength. Whis is strong enough to defeat Goku and Vegeta's strongest blows using just two fingers. And later on, he was able to withstand Goku's blows in Super Saiyan Blue without much difficulty. Furthermore, the angel was even able to stop a fight involving Beerus and Goku. And speaking of stopping the God of Destruction, Whis has done it several times in the manga and anime. In the movie, when Bill starts destroying several planets using his head, Whis is able to stop the destroyer with just one blow. That is, just one blow in which Whis apparently didn't even use much strength. He was able to overcome the strength of an entire planet. In the manga, when Beerus was about to destroy the universe in the fight against his brother, Whis easily defeats Beerus with a simple slap. Speaking of resistance now, Whis's resistance is something surreal, as he was able to withstand the Rumshi's roar, and that roar is something so powerful that it was affecting all the gods of destruction at the same time, leaving them all incapacitated to fight in such agony. But Whis was totally okay. Now let's talk about the speed of this angel. Everyone knows that Whis has an incredible speed, as he can cross astronomical distances in just a few minutes. Proof that Whis can do amazing things using his speed is that he went from planet Earth to Beerus' planet in 26 minutes and 44 seconds. For you to have an idea of how far the Beerus planet is from Earth, Goku wasn't even able to feel Vegeta's key to teleport, and our protagonist can even teleport to the other world. And even so, he couldn't feel Vegeta's key, who was on the planet of destruction. While Goku was looking for Beerus' planet, he passed through several galaxies, but the planet was much further away than that. That is, Whis at least crossed thousands of galaxies in just 26 minutes. This is something surreal, because our galaxy is 100,000 light years. Just to cross our galaxy at the speed of light would take 100,000 light years. And Whis crossed countless galaxies in just 26 minutes. Another great feat of speed was leaving planet Earth and going to the nameless planet in just three hours. According to Bulma, who was with the universe Dragon Radar, she says that the Earth was at one end of the universe. We're all the way on the edge of the universe. So we can't search every part of it from here. That is, very far from the middle. The nameless planet was outside the universe at the other end. That is, Whis, when leaving Earth and going to the nameless planet, crossed the universe from one end to the other in just three hours. The observable universe alone is around 13.8 billion light years, and Whis did it in three hours. But this is far from the angel's greatest feat of speed. In the manga, Whis manages to leave planet Earth and go to universe 10 in a few minutes. 
To give you an idea, the time it took Goku and his friends to enter Capsule Corporation, get the fuel, leave Capsule Corporation and enter the ship was the same time it took Whis to cross three universes, going from universe 7 to 10 and it's a certainty that Goku didn't take long to get in and out of Capsule Corporation. Since when they entered Pilaf had the fuel in his hand and Goku says that they should get the fuel and get out of there as soon as possible. I think you can already see that the speed of this angel is simply out of reality, right? When we talk about special skills and techniques, we see that the angel Whis has an incredible arsenal. Among them, we can highlight his manipulation of matter, such as opening the window of a ship as if it were a zipper on a backpack. He can also create almost anything, and at the same time, he can disintegrate matter with extreme ease. He can go back in time. He has an entire dimension in his staff, and getting out of that dimension is practically impossible. He's also capable of recovering another person's energy to 100% in a single instant, and that goes for himself too. Another ability of his is to resurrect people with extreme ease. Whis also said that the arc of Goku's black, that he could do something much better than the Mafuba, and everything indicates he has very advanced sealing technique. Whis also has weight and gravity manipulation, and can make an object weigh trillions of tons with just one movement. And just like his sister, he's probably capable of manipulating gases, meaning he can take out all the planet's gases in seconds, as he can also create oxygen in space. In addition to all these things, I've already mentioned, Whis has Ultra Instinct, an ability that allows him to dodge any attack and also unleash super powerful attacks. To illustrate well the real power of the angels compared to other characters, I decided to create a hypothetical fight between Whis and all the gods of destruction. First of all, no god could even touch Whis's body. In the manga, the gods attacked Beerus at the same time, and Beerus dodged them all. But Beerus is just apprentice using the Ultra Instinct, so imagine those gods attacking a creature that naturally dominates the skill. Whis would probably not even be touched, and with his strength and surreal skill, he would probably beat each god in one or two hits. And even if the gods hurt him, the angel could easily heal himself or just go back in time and change that event. As if he didn't want to waste time fighting, he could just seal the gods. In short, even if all the destroyers faced Whis or any other angel at once, they wouldn't stand a chance. And that was our video talking about the incredible power of angels in Dragon Ball and how Whis, only one angel, could defeat all the gods of destruction. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and also be a part of our 50,000 subscribers. Until the next time, bye bye.